Hello everyone, this is Yolanda from the All Crafts channel and in today's tutorial I'm going to teach you how to do this little pattern. I'm just doing a little swatch for you. This would actually work for a scarf um, size. So if you just wanted to do a, a scarf, a nice summer scarf, this would be the right amount of chains to do. So you can use this pattern. Um, it's in multiples of 12. You could keep repeating the 12 counts until you uh, get the desired length so you could make it as wide as you want you could do it for a shawl like a prayer shawl baby blanket um, uh, tablecloth uh, dish dish cloth uh, placemats whatever you want to make this is a great little pattern it's easy to make but it looks really pretty and you get that little like diagonal pattern going across in either direction like this see so in one one area there's like blank and then the other one is alternates with shells and then the open spaces. So I hope you will like this tutorial. Please be sure to click the like button and let's get the party started. Hello, this is Yolanda from the All Cross Channel. To start our shell and arches pattern, remember this pattern, you can use it for uh, scarves, tablecloths, uh, I guess dishcloths or shawls. These are uh, just like a prayer shawl. Or um, anyway, the pattern is uh, in multiples of 12. So you would just need to do 12 plus four. So uh, I'm just gonna do two patterns so that I can show you how to do the pattern. But if you wanted to make it wider, then of course you're gonna just keep, you're gonna crochet 12 chains. And then you're gonna, tw when you finish that, you just set one, two, three, four, five to 12, and then start again, one, two, three, four, five to 12, and keep going, just counting from one to 12, over and over again until you have a, your width is the desired width of your project. And then you're gonna add, after you finish that, you'll add four. So here to begin, I'm going to begin by doing 28 chains, because that would be my 20, four chains plus four more so it's 12 and 12 is 24 plus four more is 28 so go ahead I, I'm just using a, a simply soft Caron yarn you can use whatever you want and then uh, I'm using a size H hook which is a number eight or five millimeters you can make it with a bigger hook smaller hook that's just going to change the gauge and um, so to begin I want you to go ahead and do 28 chains Remember your chain, you just wrap your yarn around your hook, you yarn over and then you pull through. So go ahead and do your 28 chains. Okay, I've done my 28 chains. So now for row one, you're gonna start on count three chains from the back, one, two, three. And then on the fourth chain, you're gonna do a double crochet. So you to do the double crochet, you yarn over, meaning you wrap your yarn over your hook. You're gonna go into that fourth chain there grab your yarn from behind you're going to have three loops of yarn on your hook you're going to pull through two loops there'll be two loops left and then you're going to pull through the second two okay and you're going to repeat that one more time so i'm going to do another double crochet into that same space there into that same chain on the fourth chain from the end okay once i do that on here you want to skip two chains on the bottom one two on your third chain here you're going to do a single crochet to do the single crochet you stick your hook in without wrapping around pull out your yarn there'll be two loops and then you pull out through both loops okay so this is what it would look like once you do that you're going to chain five so here I'm going to do one two three four and five I want to skip five chains on the bottom as well so here's one one two three four five and then the next chain after that I'm going to do a single crochet I'm just gonna go into that sixth chain pull out my yarn and pull through okay so this is what it looks like and now I'm gonna skip two chains here one two and on my third chain there i'm going to do five double crochets i'm going to create a shell into that stitch there so i'm going to do five double crochets here's one two three four
and 5. So now I created my little chain there. Once I do the 5 chains, I'm going to, excuse me, 5 double crochets, I'm going to skip 2 chains on the bottom. 1, 2, here, 1, 2, and on my 3rd chain, I'm going to do a single crochet. Okay? And then you're just going to repeat this. Once you do that, then once again I'm going to crochet five chains like here. One, two, three, four, and five. I'm going to skip five chains on the bottom. One, two, three, four, five. My next chain I'm going to do by single crochet. Now I'm going to skip two chains and on the last chain I'm going to do three uh, double crochets so it could be here like the beginning so right here on the very last chain you're going to do three double crochets Oops. start pulling it too hard one get some more yarn here two and three and remember, you could just keep making, you know, just keep adding 12, chain, 12 chains um, every time you want it wider. So this is just a small one. This would work for a small um, scarf. It's not too big and it, it would probably be okay. So here, once you get to here to the end, I'm going to chain one. And then I'm going to turn my work over. And then in that very first here in that same chain here I'm going to do one single crochet into that same space okay now that I have five there I have a single crochet here now I'm going to chain five this is row two to begin to do the rest of our pattern we're just going to repeat rows two to five so here I did my single crochet I'm going to chain five one two three four and five and now here, you're going to skip all these stitches here, and you're going to go into the into the third chain here of the five stitches. So right in the middle. So here's one, one, two, three. So on the third chain here in the middle, you're going to do a single crochet there. So it's, you're going to be making it into the space where your five double crochet, five single, um, your five chains were at from the first row. Once I do that for row two is just going to be the chain so once again I'm going to do five chains one two three four five and now we're going to go into the middle stitch of our fan which was would be here one two three so into the third space there and we're going to do a single crochet so here we're just creating loops for our second round okay once again now then do five chains one two three four five now you're going to go into the third chain here of the five chain spaces so here's one two three and you're going to do your single crochet there and now you're going to once again chain five one two three four and five and now here on the top of our third chain one two three which was our turning chain here you're going to do a single crochet there okay so that is how we would how it would look here so that's row one and row two to go on to row three remember we're going to repeat rows two to five for the rest of our pattern and the bigger this, the larger your project gets, it, it looks really pretty. I know you can't really tell the design right now. So now to go on to row number three, you're going to chain five. The first three count as a double crochet, and then the other two are your two chain spaces. So here, I'm going to chain five. One, two, three. That counts as a first double crochet. Four and five. Now you're going to turn your work over, and this is row three. Once you turn your work over here, in the middle of the your chain 5 space that's at the bottom, you're going to do a single crochet. So here is 1, 2, 
three. Oh, there it is, one, two, three, right here. You're going to do a single crochet right there. Oops, I don't know if I got out of the space, but here it is. You're going to do a single crochet in the third space of the five chain space here in the middle. Once you do that, we're going to go back and we're going to be working in the middle points here where um, for the next one here, we're going to skip these spaces and then here on top of your single crochet here, you're going to do a, a shell of five double crochets. So here now we're going to do five double crochets into this little chain one um, single crochet space. One, two, three, oops, three, three, four, and five. So here now we have our sh shell on top of that five, on top of that single crochet. Now here you're going to skip two chains, one, two, because we want to work in the middle of those five chain space, and you're going to do a single crochet into that third chain there. And now you're going to start to be able to start to see the pattern emerging. Okay. Once you do your single crochet there, you're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And now here you're going to single crochet into the third chain here of the five spaces. So here's one, two, three. You're going to go into there and do your single crochet. So let's see, it's just building our shells are going up in this row. So it's like diagonal. So once you do that single crochet there, you're going to go back into this next single crochet here, just like we did here, and you're going to do another shell with five double crochets in there. So wrap your yarn around your hook, go in there and do your five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, now I'm going to repeat what I did here. I'm going to skip excuse me, my two chains and then on the third chain in the middle here I'm going to do my single crochet. So here's one, two, and here's my single crochet. After my single crochet there I'm going to chain two, one, two, and now I'm going to do a double crochet into that first single crochet space here. And that is row three. That's how it should look in row three. So now you can see that the pattern is emerging. Here, these spaces across this way have the open chains, and then around across this way have the shell open, shell open, shell open. And that's how it's going to go all the way across. This makes a the good size for a little thin scarf. It's not really heavy. So it's really pretty for summer or just, you know. Um, and like I said, if you make this wider, you can make it into a prayer shawl or, or a, you know, a big scarf, a big um, shawl. So this is row, so we just finished row number three. To go up to row number four, once again, I am going to chain one. I'm going to turn my work over and in that first space there once again I'm going to do a single crochet there. Okay, there we go. And now I'm going to chain five. Basically rows, this is going to be the same as row two where we're just doing our chain spaces. So here's one, two, three, four, and five. Once I do the five here, I want to do my single crochet in the middle 
stitch of my of my shell so here's one two three on top of that third one you're going to do a single crochet there okay you're going to do five more chains one two three four five now you're going to work your next single crochet in the third chain here of your five stitches just like we did on row two oops okay last the yarn so here's my single crochet here's my second loop see i'm just making loops on this rows two and and uh four are just the loops once again five chains one two three four five single crochet into the middle stitch of your shell so one two three okay now once again chain five one two three four and five and now i'm going to single crochet into the third chain here my turning chain so here's okay so here then our last stitch for our um row four your one two three four five and then you're going to go here on the third chain one two three single crochet in there and this will be your row four okay to move up to row five we're going to uh, chain three one two three we're going to turn our work over and into that same corner space here on our first single crochet there in the single crochet space we're going to do two double crochets one two now you see how the pattern is repeating here once we do that i want you to skip the first the three chains here one two and on the third chain of that five chain space you're going to do your single crochet okay now i want you to chain five one two three four and five and then in the center of your next five space here on the third chain you're going to do your single crochet okay once you do your single crochet there i want you to skip the first th uh, the first two chains here on give me one two oh excuse me here you're going to skip these two chains one two and then here on top of your single crochet you're going to do your next shell so here it's going to align with the shell beneath space and then shell so here in the single crochet you're going to do your five double crochets to make your shell one two three four and five so here now you're seeing that our pattern is repeating here shell space shell then the next one it would be space shell space shell and then these of course would be in the opposite direction it's also making your patterns diagonally so once you do your your um five shells there then here once again in the third chain you're going to do a single crochet to close that off here now you're going to chain five one two three four five so you're going to do your single crochet in the third chain of the five chain group here and now here on our last space here which is our first uh, uh, single crochet there you're going to do three double crochets one two and three to make your work to keep making your work longer or you know longer then you're just going to repeat rows two to five once again this is the design that you'll be getting see let me see if i could open it a little bit so you could see and that space will be there let me, sorry guys didn't mean to make you dizzy 
I just want you to be able to see the pattern here. So then you have the three here on this side, three here, and then the ones in the middle are going to have full shells. And then here is going to be your half spaces here. On the edges of your work is going to be your half spaces here. And then in the middle are going to be the full shells and the full arch. So go ahead and keep doing it for as long as you want. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so and spread the word about my channel. Hit the like button. And thank you so much for watching. Like I said, this is perfect for shawls, dishcloths, table runners, placemats, whatever you want to do. Even for a lightweight summer baby blanket, uh, you could use uh, cotton. And then you could just, if you wanted to, at the ends on your edges here, I could, you could just put tassels on your little open spaces here. Totally up to you. Or you could just leave it like that. I've done it with the tassels and it came out really cute. Thank you and I hope you enjoyed this. Have a great day.